Hey there YouTubers. All right, so we're gonna do a real quick overview of the BIOS for this ASUS B460 motherboard. The exact uh, name will be in the title. So when you first go in, after you're clicking on delete as it boots up, you'll end up in easy mode. Here you'll see all kinds of useful information um, about the computer, the CPU, the RAM. We've got uh, the ability to have four fans that are monitored. Right now we only have a CPU fan as it's on the test bench. You'll see some other stuff, CPU temp, your NVMEs. Um, I think this one has two in it, but uh, I've only got one installed. And your boot priority would be uh, shown over here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at advanced mode, which is uh, F7, or you can click down here. How when you first go in, it'll drop you into main. Gives you a bunch of the same stuff um, that you just saw. Kind of an overview. If you click down here on security. You could uh, create a password if you wanted to uh, to stop people from getting in to your uh, BIOS. All right, let's back out of here. Oh, and I apologize, I am using a uh, cell phone to record this BIOS. Um, we've had a few video capture cards die. All right, AI tweaker. So in here, you can uh, mess around with a few things. Um, some of this stuff is basically locked. Regardless of what processor you have, you'll be locked out. Now, if you wanna come in here and mess with your RAM, Note that uh, even though it lists all these different RAMs here, you will be pretty much um, two. All right, so even though it lists all these different RAMs in here, take three. All right, so we're in the AI tweaker. Um, I'm just going to go through kind of what you can see here. Now, even though this lists all these different RAMs in here, good luck getting anything higher than uh, 2933 for an i5 and above or 2666. I have not accomplished that. I have not seen anything on how to actually get um, your memory actually overclocked. Uh, that's why I always recommend a Z490. Now, Power savings, performance mode. I've changed mine to performance. I don't know if it's made any difference. And here's where uh, your timing control would be if you were going to mess with that. Some stuff in here about VRM. Things you can do there. Internal CPU management. Now this would appear to be the spot on this motherboard, let's see, where you could mess with your power limits, okay? So PL1 and PL2 are in here, We've got long duration, short duration. If you were to mess with those, uh, I use Intel's tuning utility. So there's a whole lot of stuff in here, to be honest with you. A lot of it I don't mess with. All right, let's go over to Advanced. Advanced tab. Let's look at CPU configuration. Uh, more information in here. Somewhere in here will be your spot. Yeah, it's under here. If you wanted to turn off uh, turbo mode, you could do that in here. Go from enabled to disabled. And the rest of this, you know, whether you would mess with it or not, is up to you. All right, so here is some of the other stuff. Now, like I said, we have one NVMe in here, and there it is, Samsung 960 Pro. Uh, there isn't really anything you can do here. It just shows you some of the specifics about it. Now, if you wanted to lock out your USBs, I believe you can do that in here. Yeah, on this one. 
you could uh, set that up so that people can't get in there. All right, so that's briefly an overview of that. There's a uh, pull down for monitoring. So a place you can come to check out your CPU temperature. Come over to boot. Different settings in here to mess with. Boot configuration. This is the spot where you would go if you wanted to enable fast boot or disable it. All right, let's jump over to tool. All right, so under uh, tool, you've got a, one of the locations you can go if you want to uh, flash your BIOS. And I'm not going to go in there. Uh, there's a video on how to flash your BIOS that I've done, so check that out. And all these other things just seem like bad ideas to go into in case you screw something up. Like, obviously, this will erase certain things. You don't need erased. Um, so you see that. Set the SSD to blah, blah, blah. So we do not want to do that. All right. So, and of course, there is the good old exit which is where we're going to go now. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.